Hi there everyone, I hope you're as great as I am today. Welcome to this second video about my new Tamastar drum kit. I am excited to present to you all its characteristics in detail. Let's not waste any time and start right now. First of all, you might wonder why did I change my set? I ordered my Star Classic set back in 2014. It was a total game changer for my drumming experience. I clearly understood how a professional kit sounds, responds and projects. I played it for hours, I toured with it, I recorded it so many times I couldn't even count, I shot many videos with it, music videos, playthroughs, covers, tutorials. I knew it inside out, every little detail. My Star Classic set no longer holds any secrets for me, but I still love it just as much. But after 10 years, and after fulfilling a childhood dream and surpassing an important milestone, which is being an official artist of Tama Drums, I wanted to mark the occasion. My playing has also, in my opinion, evolved a lot over the last 10 years, so I wanted to change the setup a bit. I felt as well the need to get quicker access to the various elements of my drum kit and to move to different sizes to set up my toms lower down. For all these reasons, I decided to go for the greatest drums Tama offers nowadays, the Starline. The Starline is the flagship of Tama drums. They took all the knowledge and research they have done for the Star Classic series, but they carefully re-examined every detail to enhance the resonance of the shell and take it to the next level. Before giving you all the details about the shell specifications and all the features this Starline comes with, I really want to take a moment to highlight the effort that Tama puts into the unboxing experience and the key details while discovering your new Star Drum Kit. First of all, as you may have seen in the reveal video, all the boxes are firemarked with the Tama and Star logos, a very aesthetic detail that you do not often see. Then, when opening the shells one by one, you really see how they are carefully packed, protected, and we can be confident that they rest safe during their journey traveling from Japan to France, in my case. In the bass drums boxes, you will find a high-quality and high-density paper envelope filled with several postcards. On these cards, beautiful pictures are printed, a gorgeous Tama Star kit, black and white pictures of drum makers doing their art without the back, a quote and explanation of each one of these steps, and a welcoming message to the newly Star Drums owners. Inside each shell, you will find a badge with the serial number of the shell and also the artist who crafted it. All my shells were handmade by the same artist. Attached to the hoop of each drum is a label giving us the name of the person who inspected the shell in detail before sending it. In my case, the same person checked my entire set, including my snare drum. With this extreme level of attention to detail, everyone experimenting with and discovering their new Tama Star Drums will understand that this range is like no other. You feel the passion of the artist behind it. Having the information of who built and who inspected the set makes it all very human and personal. I wish every drummer could have such a wonderful experience. Nothing is left to chance. Let's get now to the drum kit itself. The Tama Starline offers three different types of food, bubinga, maple, and walnut. Based on my experience, research, and the sun examples I could find, I decided to go for a star walnut set. This type of food is known for its natural EQ tone, it has a warm and fat sound, it projects boomy low end with enough cut to be heard through any mix. You will get to hear the walnuts in the next video I release about its sound. With my desire to drastically change the look of my drums and make an impression, I wanted a finish that was the complete opposite of the Civil Snow Racing Stripes of Master Classic. Therefore, I have chosen the Satin Charcoal Japanese Sen finish, newly released in 2017. I really love the look and detail of satin finish wood, so there wasn't that much hesitation when it came to choosing the finish for my new set. It is the most beautiful one in my opinion. About shell's construction, my rack and floor toms are built with a total of 6 ply for a thickness of 6 mm, including 2 outer ply in Japanese sen. The bass drums are built with a total of 7 ply for a thickness of 7 mm, including 2 outer ply in Japanese sen. 
let me present to you the drum set and the shell's dimensions. My new star set is composed of two bass drums of 20 by 16 inch, three rack toms, the first one is 8 by 6. The second rack tom is 10 by 7. The third rack tom is 12 by 8. Two floor toms, the one on my left is 14 by 14. And the one on my right is 16 by 16. I also ordered a new snare, which is the Tama Staphonic Copper Snare, being 14 by 7. Some videos comparing snare heads and wires will be released using this copper snare to let you hear how it sounds. Continuing on the features this set has, one of the most important parts of a drum sound is the bearing edge. This is a contact point between the drum head and the shell, where the vibration produced by hitting the head transfer to the shell. The shape of this bearing edge has a lot to do with the final drum tone. Star drums are designed with a rounded peak compared to Tama's traditional bearing edge. This rounded peak provides more contact between the drum head and shell, allowing vibrations to travel from the drum head to the shell more efficiently. Talking about bearing edge, the piece holding the head to it is the hoop. Hoops are a crucial element to a drum sound and ease of tuning. Star drums are mounted with die-cast hoops made of zinc melted into a mold. They provide crisper attack, greater projection, and more powerful tone compared to traditional triple flange hoops. They also make tuning easier as their shape is consistent and the material used is dense. On the Starphonic copper snare is mounted a grooved hoop with the Tama Freedom Lug and Claw Hook. With it, you can tilt the claw away from the hoop so that you won't have to take all the rods out of the lugs. It is a quick release system to replace your drum head simply and faster. As said at the beginning of the video, star drums enhance the shell resonance to take it to the next level. Every piece of hardware attached to the shell affects the resonance and sound of the drums. Tama carefully studied every detail to maximize the resonance and optimize the sound. These gorgeous new star drums lugs have an extremely low mass bridge construction for minimum shell contact. The bass drum claw hooks operate on the same principle. They float on the surface of the bass drum hoops without being in full contact. The star drums logo is an imprinted badge, so Tama doesn't have to drill through the shell and attach a piece of metal that would reduce its natural resonance. Even the small air hole grommet is made of wood, reducing the weight of materials on the shell and improving resonance and sound. As you understood, everything is designed to let the shells resonate. The Ractum's mounting system is no exception to this principle. Tama created the new super resonant mounting system to minimize stress and strains on the shells and hoops. It has three contact points with a drum. Two are located on the better hoop. They support the weight of the drum vertically. The third is located on the bottom hoop. This one supports the horizontal weight of the drum once the angle is set. These three points create the largest possible theoretical triangle on the drum. A really groundbreaking feature of the star drums not present on the older star classic like mine is the new quick lock tom bracket. It allows to quickly and easily set up and tear down the toms with just a flick of a finger. But the greatest feature is its two-piece construction. When removing the drum, the bracket splits in two and the memory lock remains on the tom stand or floor tom leg. This feature allows to set the tom position and the built-in memory lock with only one wing nut, and no drum key is needed. The exact same feature is present on the floor tom legs. When the floor tom leg is removed, the memory lock stays on it, keeping the height and angle set on each one. Following the same principle of reducing vibration transference from drums to the tom stands or floor tom legs, these tom brackets are filled with rubber lining to further isolate the drums and enhance resonance. Last detail about the hoop and its features is the hole tight washer. It prevents the tension rods from any loosening by absorbing the impacts when hitting a drum. 
About the floor tom, the tips of star floor tom legs feature a hollow and soft rubber construction absorbing the impact that emphasizes the drum's natural resonance and sustain. It also provides a very comfortable feel and response when playing, letting the floor tom float a bit. When striking the bass drum, it is crucial to absorb the horizontal impact and vibrations to maintain its natural resonance. That's why the bass drum spurs adopt the same concept as the floor tom legs and are designed with soft, high-mass rubber feet. The last feature I present to you is about the metal spikes used to prevent slippage while playing. The construction inside is designed in two pieces separated by rubber to absorb the impact without transferring it to the spike itself. And that was all the details and features of the Tama Starline. Producing this video made me realize that Tama has really pushed the boundaries in the research and design of these drums. No detail is neglected. They have reached a level of perfection that I have never seen elsewhere. I really feel lucky being an artist of the greatest drum brand on the market with the most passionate drum makers and having such a special set to play with. I cannot wait to let you hear it. And for that, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, feel free to leave a comment below and also subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social media to see what's coming. Cheers!